Hello, Starfish Girl here, back for another video of Anne 01. <laughs> I had to think for a second, I'm totally blanking. I'm tired today. Um, last time I left you off with level 2 blue ball direction. It looked like it was going to be a super long level, but apparently I just did some digging around in the level off cam before I started. Um, so it wouldn't take as long to get through this video and I wouldn't have to edit a whole bunch of stuff out and there's something really well not dirty but well dirty I guess that I wanted to show you uh, that I came across and it's kind of a dead end and it's I did not expect it at all and it was kind of funny so I'll show you that what I did is I was walking around and I figured out where the paths were that were the right way to go so I wrote them down so this will go a lot faster but let's see um okay okay so I just wanted to mark that for later okay and then I need more. oops there we go okay Um, one up, two left, three up, two left, one up, one left, one up. Okay, that's where I need to mark for later. Two, three, four up. There's no time in this level, and you know what, I never even noticed that. I just discovered that. I just realized there's no time. I never even paid attention. Wow. Okay, so this is where it is. And it's down right there. I'm not going to keep going because I'll get trapped. Shoot. I trapped myself. That was dumb. Anyways, there... I almost pointed to the screen. There's like wire tiles right here so if you try to go that way you'll end up killing yourself there's a pink ball down there but obviously you can't get the chip because you can't get back there's no flippers so that's just dirty <laughs> that's the only spot in the level though so I mean that's okay it's that's the only place where it is but in a blue ball maze you never want to see something like that hidden water underneath because that just makes for a really long confusing level so let's um yeah so that's what I wanted to show you I just wanted you to see uh, uh okay I wanted you to see that so that you would know that uh, it was there I found it and um Oops, I didn't go all the way. There we go. I just wanted you to know it was there. And that I found it while I was digging around. And, um... Okay. While I was digging around. So you would know... Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and follow my uh, directions at the same time, which is... What? Oh, one left. One left. What? One left. Um... Oh, okay. I went the wrong way. I went right instead of left. My other left. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, and now I have to go... Okay, that's a safe chip. And now I have to go back up to the other place that I marked earlier. Yeah, so that was just dirty. I came across the water and I was like, oh, oh crap. I was worried there would be way more of it, but uh, I didn't find any. So that's, that's a good thing. Okay, now I have to go up six, so starting from here. <laughs> 
Um, and I thought this would make it a lot faster. Okay, just making sure to follow this and have you see this rather than um, There we go. Now I have to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. To that path right beside me. Um, yeah, so I just thought this would be a lot faster if you saw the path that I mapped out to get the chips rather than the whole like 30 minutes or however long it took me to figure out where to go. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to go... Um... Four left, okay. One, two, three, four. Four up. Four right. Uh, two. Okay, so that's where I'm going next. Now I have to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. There we go, okay. So now I know the path from here, so now I can just talk. Um, yep, oops, I forgot to go that way first though. No, and that way, there we go. All right, so anyways, I thought that would be a lot faster. Yeah, it only took six minutes to show you where to go rather than, oh, okay, rather than the, oh, what am I doing? There's another one down here, isn't there? I have one left. Which one am I missing? Uh, crap. Oh. Uh, no. Not that one. I missed one. Well, it's not that one. Oh, down here. No, that's not. Uh oh. Somewhere I missed one in my calculations. Did I get the one? Yes, I got that one, so I'm missing one. So, there was a place back here where I was supposed to get two of them, and I didn't. Shoot. And I know exactly where it is, too. Wow. I cannot believe that I did that. I just discovered it. Yeah, this is a lot faster than the whole, like, hour-long footage of me just fumbling around trying to find chips. Down here, I was supposed to get this one, and I totally forgot. I just went back to where I came from and I totally missed it. I can't believe I did that. I had it on my brain too. When you go there, just get the one beside it on your way back. And I obviously didn't because I was too concentrated on my directions to pay attention to my surroundings. Yeah. Why is it I cannot seem to talk and do directions at the same time today? I don't know. Jeez. That's horrible. I thought I would be able to comment and follow directions at the same time. That didn't work at all, so my apologies. Make your choice. Okay, either it's supposed to have an S in it on purpose, or they misspelled oh, the level. Okay. Okay, I see. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Ooh, that looks tricky dodging. Slide delay, heck. <laughs> yeah. Slide delay. Lots and lots of slide delay. Okay, there's zero chips left, so is my goal just to find the exit, I guess? I guess the goal is just to find the exit, and that's not the way to go. And... What? What? Did you just see that? Okay, that's a hidden exit. Um, I'm going to... Oops. I'm going... Let me just... That is a hidden exit. That's a fake exit there. Okay, this is not the right way. That's a fake exit. Okay, this is a really weird level. So, I was correct in going this way. I wouldn't have made it very far going the other way. And I could have seen that. Wow, how did I miss... 
getting hit there. Okay, see? Okay, so that's not the real exit. But I was so focused on where I was going to notice that that was a fake exit when I went through the first time. I just want to see what the heck is going on here because this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, make the right choice. This is the wrong one. I'm wondering if... Yeah, and now I'm trapped. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's more than one... Oh, fudge. No. No, that pauses it. No. 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 Okay. No. No. I, wow. I completely blanked on which button restarts the level. And why am I going that way? I just totally blanked. And now I cannot remember the button to push to restart the level. Wow. Nobody needs to tell me in the comments which button to push. Because I'll remember it by the time this recording is done. But I just can't believe that, oops. I just can't believe that I am totally blanking today. I must be tired. Well, I did just work for... Or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Well, uh, this morning a little, but I just, like, four days in a row of work, so. Well, th two full days of work, but, like, two partial days of work. So, that's probably why. But, okay, that's not anything. If this is nothing, then I'll just move on. Oh. Um, hold on. <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> crap, um, there we go, wow, okay, um, uh, my other video just, video, video just finished rendering. And I knew that was going to happen, but I kind of forgot. And of course, it was right behind this, uh, and right behind, um, Cal World 2 and the, my screen recording or whatever. So, okay, so th that's the wrong way. Okay, that's the wrong way. So at least here you can see. Okay, so they're all dead ends. So there is only one exit. All right. Um, oh, this is horrible. Okay, <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay, hold on. Let me just see something. Yeah, okay, now I remember it's Control R for restart. I keep thinking since you don't have to do Control Next and Control Previous in Tile World to move between levels like you do for uh, MSCC that you just shouldn't have to do control R but you do and I just got confused wow okay that was a very bizarre level but it was fine it wasn't bad as you see alright invisible wall mania fun with fireballs involved oh great my favorite and wow Seriously? Did I just get killed by that? Um, okay, and there's a pink ball coming at me from up above. Wow. Okay. Whoa. So there's six. What is going on here? Okay, so. Invisible wall, so there's a maze clearly to get to that. Obviously, those are okay. So, this is just like an invisible wall maze, apparently, to get to the six chips and then back again. Um, alright, with monster dodging thrown in. Okay, well, at least I can accept the. Oh, and there's multiple ways of getting there. Okay. I can accept the, um, the appearing walls. What? Okay, at least it's not like one solid path. I know there's got to be one place of entrance here. 
There it is. Okay. These are some very strange levels, if you ask me, but that's okay. No. Seriously? Alright, so at least this isn't one path to the six chips and then back to the exit type of level. No. What is making those teeth come at me sometimes and not... It's got to be the randomness of the green button getting pressed, maybe? Because I saw, like, the green button room cloner thing. Not cloner. The toggle wall. The room with the toggle button. Must It must be toggling monsters out of that, um... Teleport, maybe? Wow. Oh, no. There's a red button there. And I am being followed by teeth. Oh, no. Okay. But they can't reach me. Yes, they can. Can they enter this room? No, they cannot. Great. I don't think I'm going to make it out of this one alive. Nope. Okay. So I'll go over here. Maybe I shouldn't be going the way I am because I'm creating a whole bunch of monsters. Okay, there's other chips besides just the... Um, yeah, there's other chips besides just those six. Okay. But when I go this way, whatever it is that clones all those doesn't start cloning it. So maybe it oh, has something to do with how high up I am. No, I don't know. I was able to do it the first time going the other way, but now I can't seem to make it happen. Come on. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, there's, so if I wanted to, I could get, I wonder, optimization in this must be insane. <sighs> Seriously, maybe I have to get the green key, but it was possible. Okay, it's randomness that's making it possible or not, and I don't like that. <laughs> well, not with hidden walls. Okay, you're coming after me. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this time. So, what am I supposed to do? Okay, you're still coming after me. And now you're really coming after me and I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Okay, you can go the other way around it. Alright, so I'm going to retry that and go the way I was going and then go that way. I didn't realize that the first time I tried that you could go that way. So if I can make it over here. Oh, okay, it's the... That's what it is. It's the blobs cloning the teeth monster. Go, quick. Get out of there. Go, go. Run like the wind. Alright, so that's not bad. That's just weird. So the those blobs are controlling a toggle switch somewhere. Some green doors. And uh, maybe that let the other blobs let the teeth out. I don't know. That was a bizarre level. <laughs> some very strange levels. But then again, there's a lot of those out there. So... They don't all have to be perfect, and they're not strange, that's just the way the level is, but, like, as compared with levels in, uh, more official sets, I guess you would say. What is this one called? Be careful. Why do I have to be careful? There's going to be something that's going to come after me. I know there is. There's a reason why there's all these safe spots, yeah. Oh, fun. This is like Jumping Swarm. Oh, except with all kinds of randomness F. seriously I need to do that one first because no mom there we go because the pink ball is holding them in ah, get me out of here get away from me this is fun okay I love levels like this, whoa, where you have to like keep trying, seriously, of all the chances, no, whoa, 
<laughs> that was lucky. That was really lucky. Serious. Seriously lucky timing there. Wow. Thought I was dead. Okay, so that's the edge of the stage. So, whoa. Nope. I thought I could do it, but I wasn't over one more space enough to be able to. Neither was I there. So, let's just find the best route, I guess. I don't know. If I can do something like a snake to ward off the teeth monsters for longer, that's what I'll do. I'll travel like a snake. So if they travel on a straight line, so they'll catch up to me faster. But I don't want to go against the edge in case there's walkers going along the edge. Okay, there's not. There because of the, um, uh, I'll come back for that ship. Uh, what are they called? Gravel tiles. I am tired today, holy moly. When, oh, I passed it. When you can't even think of the word gravel, you know you're tired. Okay, there's one. Now what? How am I supposed to, there must be, okay, there's got to be flippers somewhere. Probably have to wait for all of them to escape. No, no flippers there. Don't run into the blob, seriously. No flippers there. What? Um, is there a hidden exit tile? Is there a water that you can just crisscross to get to the exit? If you don't have the flippers, how is it possible to get to the exit? Um, this is not making sense. Hold on. Let me, this is really not making sense. Okay, so apparently I didn't pause this level. I only paused the recording, so let me retry that. Apparently, right here is... Uh, there. Right there was the flippers. But it was hiding underneath the floor. And I think what happened was maybe the monsters erased it. Like so many common occurrences in CCLP2 with invalid tile combinations that happened in some of the levels. Where you had to worry about, you had to watch out for monsters erasing chips that were buried underneath floor tiles. Well, maybe that's what they did. Because they could have very well stepped over that tile space where the flipper was located. I'm not sure. I don't know if they were on that space at all. But in case they were, I figured I should get that first. And where am I going? I am missing two chips somewhere. There they are. Whoa, that was close. Okay, yeah, so that's kind of dirty. But <laughs> another level done. Wow, we are cranking through some levels in this episode. Yeah, all that level though, you have to try every single tile to find the flipper underneath it. So, that could get a little long. I did look in the editor just to see where it was because I wasn't going to waste like 10,000 hours digging through the whole level trying to find the flipper. I knew it was underneath one of the tiles when I didn't find it in the level specifically because there's no way you could beat it so I had to check the editor just to make sure the level was solvable and I saw it right near me at the start so normally I don't like to cheat using the editor but if I have to like if all else fails or just as a time saving thing in a level like this I will but I don't usually I don't I I think this is the first time I've used the editor for a level in, oh, probably a very long time. I mean, I don't even remember the last time I used the editor. Well, I mean, I used it to make my own levels, but I mean, in trying to solve a level. Anyways, what am I doing? I have no idea. Be patient. Okay. Yeah, we're at 25 minutes. I'm probably going to call it here for now, and we'll look forward to this one in the next
episode. Wait, wasn't the last level? Yeah, be careful. Okay. <laughs> Thought so. And now it's be patient. Okay. Alright, well, anyways. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, Quick question before I finish the video, though. I was just thinking to myself, I am trying to finish my 150 level set, but I discovered that 14 of my levels in my level set are, uh, what's the word, <coughs> not game levels, but I have 14 levels in my set that are modeled after games and such of either video or board or, you know, like board games or video games or whatever, computer games, things like that nature. And I have 14 of them in my set and I was debating, I was debating about making their, my own set just for those levels and taking them out of my full set so that you could have a level package just with games um, that the levels are modeled after and then have my, all my other levels separate and I'm trying to decide what to do and I don't know if I should or not so maybe in the comments you can just say something if you like that idea or if it's fine to just leave them in my current set or if you have any thoughts on that I don't know I don't need you to like tell me what to do but I'm just looking for guidance I guess uh, and if you think I should put my um split my my level set up so that I have my game levels in a separate set as my uh as my other levels and I I don't know I'm going back and forth because it's kind of weird having all these like game levels in the middle of my other levels in this set it just feels not disconnected but it's kind of funny going through all these random levels and then having like <coughs> a game level and then like going through some other levels and then have another game I don't know but there was game levels in CCLP3 which is pretty much if you notice all of a sudden in my level set I have all these stages that I went through where all of a sudden there's like a whole set of this type of level set and then there's like I there's a whole type there's a whole bunch of levels in a row of different types in within the set and then all of a sudden there's you know watching CCLP playing CCLP3 I did a whole bunch more so you can see my progression over time anyways the the game ones I have enough that I could make my own set I could make more levels modeled after games and put them in that and make just a small set of their own and so I'm toying with it so if you don't mind just stating if you like that idea of separating it from my full set or keeping it in that would be great because I'm still trying to decide what I want to do so I thought maybe if you could help me that would be great all right thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video